We want to recap the big story off the top of this newscast. City and county officials implementing a new stay home work safe order for Bear County effective at 11:59 Tuesday. That's tomorrow extending through April 9th unless they decide to extend it. Yeah, San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg very clear about the fact that he would like all non essential workplaces to work from home. He wants people to stay at home. He called it a painful but necessary step. And Judge Nelson Wolf also said that his main concern is that the health care system in San Antonio and Bear County could be overwhelmed. With that in mind, let's bring in Dr. Ruth Bergeron from the Long School of Medicine at UT Health San Antonio back with us this week to help get us answers to the coronavirus questions. You are familiar with the stay at home work safe program. Why is that so important? Well, Steve, we really need to make sure that we don't have uh, hospital emergency rooms and intensive care units get over full very fast. Um, and the best way for that to happen is to prevent infections. And we need people to read and heed and listen to this advice and stay home. It's, we don't want to frighten people. It's not that it's um, dangerous for you to go outside. In fact, we hope people will go outside in accordance with the guidelines. Uh, but this is a stronger level of uh, messaging than has come from our government officials last week to make sure that people are doing the most they can possibly do to prevent getting infected. Dr. Berger, and we obviously get a lot of questions from our viewers. One of the questions that I see a lot is about testing. What are you seeing and hearing about testing here locally? So the testing guidelines continue to change um, very rapidly as our conditions change. Now that we know that we have community transmission, um, we're trying to focus the testing in the situations where it will help the most. So we need for people to not just decide that they want a test to make themselves feel better and just get the test. We need everybody to be either calling their primary care doctor or the Metro Health COVID hotline, which is staffed by healthcare professionals to review the situation and then determine whether a person needs testing or not. We are severely constrained by limitations of reagents and swabs. We still have them and lots of good things are happening. We have testing that's coming online very soon at University Hospital. However, these resources need to be stewarded extremely carefully. Talk about the supplies just in general. When we talk about masks, we talk about gloves, we talk about ventilators and things like that, that, that I've heard are concerns around the country. Are they concerns for you when we talk about Bear County? So I think our immediate concern, and, and this is really something that's become um, much on our minds today as I was rounding in the hospital this very afternoon, um, we have supplies that we need now, but we have the supplies in short supply. And we're worried about critical shortages happening soon. And in particular, uh, we are in need uh, for UT Health we're in need of N95 respirator masks and other face masks, including surgical masks. Uh, this could include masks that are used by painters and carpenters and hobbyists. And these actually, we are asking the public to donate these if they have them. Um, and we have a location where these items can be dropped off. And they can be dropped off at our Health Science Center beginning on March 24th through March 25th from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. The address is at 7703 Floyd Curl Drive. And we ask people that they can bring these items to the guard shack off of Floyd Curl and they will be directed accordingly. We will be practicing very good social distancing or physical distancing uh, at the drop off location. So, so we're talking. We're asking. Go ahead. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, Wednesday and Thursday of this. Or are we talking about are March we talk 24th through and March 25th. tomorrow? So tomorrow and Wednesday, people bring those masks to UT Health San Antonio. Um, and it, you know, it's right in the med center and the guard shack is really easy to find. I love the fact that it's so easy for people to just pull up, 
drop these masks off. They are much needed right now. Am I overhyping this, Dr. No, Bergeron? No, and there's, there's a few other items that we'd like to add to the list, Steve. Yes. And these include medical or disposable gloves, eye protection goggles, but no, no swimming goggles, please, face shields, and thermometers. You may have noticed it's not possible to buy a thermometer in Walgreens right now. Um, so we have a critical shortage of those as well. So these are all items that are being requested for donation from the public by UT Health. Very good. And we'll obviously get this on our website along with that address, 7703 Floyd Curl Drive between the hours of 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. That's the Health Science Center. They need shields, thermometers, medical gloves, those N95 masks, as well as eye protection goggles. So if you yeah. have those, they certainly would be appreciated. And one more quickly before we go, we've talked a lot about uh, shelter in place, shelter at home. Give us the differences between that, if you would, really quick. So all of us are familiar with the shelter in place directive, and we associate that with a tornado warning. And that is a warning that really means if you step outside your house, you could die. That's what shelter in place means. Notice that our directive here is stay at home and work safe. And this means that you can go outside and that's because the virus is not floating around in the outdoor air. And as long as you go outside and keep a safe distance from other people, which is six feet, you can be outdoors, you can exercise. As a doctor, I strongly recommend that people get outdoors and get regular exercise as a measure of not only physical health, but mental health. And there are many, many work exemptions and many opportunities for people who have certain kinds of work to continue to go to their work. We can still go and get food. We can still go and get our pharmaceutical supplies. We can get our medications and we can go to the doctor. So all of these essential things are accounted for in the current stay home, work safe directives from our local government. Dr. Thank Ruth you. Berggren, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to hearing from you again. Yeah, tonight at 9 o'clock, we will be taking viewer questions for Dr. Ruth Berggren of the Long School of Medicine from UT Health San Antonio. Very interesting that they are calling for donations. If you didn't hear the exact items that she's talking about and some of the things that they need at UT Health San Antonio, gloves, masks, thermometers. I mean, there's a there's a long list. We're going to try to get that together. And hopefully before the end of this newscast, we'll have a bit of a list of that for you. But tomorrow and Wednesday, they're accepting these donations at the main campus of uh, UT Health San Antonio. It's the Health Science Center. Yeah, from is what it used to be what it used to be called the Health Science yeah. Center there in the heart of the medical center. So 7703 Floyd Curl Drive. Again, we're going to work to get a list together and get in our website as well as before the end of this newscast.